In the quiet morning hours of a crisp April morning in 1998, a chilling discovery was made in Hiroshima, Japan. A lone police officer stumbled upon a scene of silent horror. A young man lay lifeless in the shadow of an innocuous vending machine. His face was ghostly pale, his eyes open in a stare of vacant terror. A can of oolong tea, still cold from the vending machine, squeezed in his hand. This was the beginning of one of Japan's most puzzling and mysterious unsolved crime sprees, the vending machine murders. Over the course of the next three months, ten more victims would meet the same grim fate. Each one was found in the vicinity of a vending machine. Each one had a can of poisoned drink in their hand. The victims ranged from a 19-year-old college student to a 70-year-old retiree, with no apparent connection between them. The only common threads were the vending machines and the lethal dose of paraquat, a fast-acting and deadly herbicide. The police were confused. Despite their best efforts, no leads surfaced. The killer left no fingerprints, no witnesses came forward, and the CCTV cameras yielded no helpful footage. The investigation seemed to be running into a dead end. As the death toll increased, fear gripped the Japanese nation. Vending machines, the symbols of Japan's modern convenient civilization, became harbingers of death. Sales plummeted as people avoided them out of fear. The government issued nationwide warnings about the danger of accepting drinks from strangers, and even went so far as to ban the sale of paraquat, but the killer remained unknown. Over the years, numerous theories have been suggested. Some believed it to be the work of a serial killer. Others suggested a twisted form of suicide pact. Criminologists and psychologists have assumed the killer's motives and methods, but without factual proof, these remain speculations. Today, more than two decades later, the case remains unsolved. The Japanese vending machine murders stand as a grim reminder of a time when fear lurked in the most ordinary corners of daily life. The victims, their families, and indeed the whole nation await the day when justice will finally be served. But for now, the chilling mystery remains unknown. Who was behind the vending machine murders? What was their motive? And perhaps most unsettling of all, could they do it again? In the world of true crime, some cases mesmerize and frustrate us. Cases that grip us with their mystery and haunt us with their lack of resolution. The vending machine murders in Japan are undoubtedly one such case. It is a chilling tale of fear, mystery, and a killer who, to this day, remains a faceless shadow.